just know we got a lot of stuff to work on, but you know, we got to beat UNLV, top ranked team, so some positives from that trip, but still disappointed we didn't get that win though. As a Vegas kid, what does it mean to, to play UNLV to beat UNLV? <laughs> You know, I never thought I'd be playing in the MAC. You know, after after I left, so just to be able to go back and, and play that game it meant a lot to me in front of my all my family and friends. But to get that win was also good too, because all the UNLV fans, you know, was patronizing me and stuff. So it, it felt good. You guys played those two. I mean, both Cincinnati and UNLV. They're perennial tournament teams every single year. I mean, good to get that kind of experience this early on. Like, here's what a tournament team kind of feels like. Yeah, you, you, we know that we can play with them. You know, it's not like. We're far away because we beat UNLV and then we lost Cincinnati, but it was a good game. So we know that in order to be able to play into the tournament, this is the kind of teams we're going to be playing against. So to know that we can compete and, and get wins against them is good. Good, good, good for confidence. How about for the freshmen? Good to go in the hostile environment? The yeah, it was great for them. That was, you know, first road game, a true road game of the season. So uh, it was good. And they and they came and they, they performed in a, in a hostile environment, like you said. So it, it was good confidence for everybody. What part of the game do you guys feel like you need to make the most improvement in now after the seven games? Uh, uh, I say defense and rebounding. You know, we uh, gave up a lot of offensive rebounds to Cincinnati, and we didn't have quite good enough D against them. That's why they were able to get up 19 on us real fast. So, you know, defensive rebounding is the quickest change we can make. You guys got big contributions from uh, Dominic, Damian, and Ben. Obviously, Damian at the end against you know, the At what point when, when those guys are here, do you know that they have the ability to do that in a game? Is it do you have to see them do it in a game, or do you know when you start playing? With uh, them? I knew from from the get go that they were going to uh, contribute a lot this year. You know, just from in playing pickup with them, seeing them in practice, and just knowing about their history. I, you know, I, I knew they were going to be able to contribute right away. So to see them do that wasn't a surprise for me. How about Damien at the end uh, taking over? Basically? That was big. He he grew up that day. You know, he was he's. We always were joking and say he's no longer a freshman after that because, you know, he carried us down the stretch, and, that, and that's good for a freshman to do. Yes, I do. I, I do think we can make a run. We win a lot of games this year. Tony, you talk about defense. How much do you think, you know, Tony was in foul trouble and you didn't have him. He's been such a big factor at that end of the court. Yeah, uh, that, that hurt us, you know, not having that size on there, and he protects the rim really well. And just to know that he's back there, we're a lot, we're, we're able to pressure up more. And, and we didn't do that against Cincinnati, and they were just sitting back and hitting wide open three balls and, and stuff like that. So not having Tony in there hurt, but you know we still got to play better D regardless, because he might get hurt later in the year. So we got to be able to play without him. Do you see anything besides that change from the UNLV to Cincinnati game? Uh, besides Tony in, in the style that you guys played, is there anything that coming off hot in UNLV? Uh, we, we didn't really push the ball like we do in transition. We stopped scoring in transition, and that's where we kind of got stagnant a little bit. We didn't execute very well. Like down the stretch of UNLV, we executed really well. That's why Doc got those shots, and, and we were able to make plays. But, you know, we didn't execute, so basically execution was, was, was main. For the third straight year, uh, it's been a team with, with a lot of new guys. Uh, the first year, we was a new coach, and then the past two years, it's kind of been roster overhauls. But the team has, has seemed to gel um, all three times. What is it? Is it something that the Coach Altman does that, that brings you guys together? What is it that has brought these three different groups together in seemingly the same uh, way? Coach Altman really just stretches to make plays for for your teammates. So. If you just follow follow by that rule, I mean, you could really be able to gel with anybody, just making plays for the person that's next to you, regardless of who it is. So people have really bought into bought into that and bought into what Coach Allman is saying. So that has helped uh, tremendously. What about him makes you buy into him? And not every player would buy into every coach. He has a great track record. You know, he, he makes it into the tournament. He's been in postseason play for a long time. So knowing that his stuff works, is you know it's tremendous. It's tremendous. Uh, let me see. It's it's, it's easy. To, it's easy to go, with, you know, because it's worked in the past.